Okay, Sertoys time. Uh, you know what? I'm going to spam some Sertoys for a bit. I've got four more things over there to review. Because, uh, you know, and that's just stuff I just happen to drag upstairs with me. There's a lot more down there, trust me. Uh, but just for now, because I can, we're going to review... I got these little wheels, but this material is probably not the best thing for it. These are what I believe are just called motorcycle bots on Sertoys. And yeah, because of course they are. And they're just three little motorbikes that turn into robots. Let's be very loose with these terms, okay? Um, <clears throat> you want a size comparison? There's Siege Impactor. So they're about Scout, Basic, whatever you want to call them size. Commander, whatever. They're only Ickle. Not Cyberverse li Little, not original Cyberverse anyway. But Little. And they are some sort of motorbike with a foot thing that's got teeth on it for some reason. Little spinny wheels, the, the thing. There's some moulded detail, not a lot, but there's some. There's definitely not a face right there. Uh, wheel at the front. And these things, which I don't know if they're supposed to hold down to help them stand upright. I don't know if they're supposed to fold up, or if you can do what you want with them. I don't know. They've got, appears to have guns moulded into them, so that's interesting. These kind of look like, uh, like the thrust drones from uh, Beast Machines. That's what these remind me of. Which is odd. So that's green. Same thing in red. They're they're all identical. Little detail moulded in, bless them. Look, look. It's actually detail. They're all the same. All the same. Now the bag these came in, they actually came in pieces, and I've just spent like the last hour or so putting them back together and tightening a couple of joints and stuff like that. I had to. Um, if I was so inclined to spend more time tightening all the joints, these would be better than they are. But I really don't know if it's worth it. But I'm, I'm being honest with you. So I suppose we should transform one. And this seems to be the first one. And transform is... Um, yeah, it's a, it's a loose term. I'm going to fold these out of the way. Because they're on ball joints. Pretty much everything's a ball joint or a hinge. I'm going to sneeze, no, right, uh, excuse me. I'm going to split this front wheel, and it's on a hinge, which is on a ball joint. So hinge here, ball joint in there, and we're just going to wriggle that out of the way. We're going to try, I'm not sure if you have to do this, but it looks better if you do. We're going to try and turn this piece around, and you might have to unpeg it slightly. Uh... And try and turn that around. Come on. There we go. It's literally just pegged in there. So don't worry too much about it. it it's not a big problem. I'm just going to turn that around. And you can see where I've uh, put some glue on to squeeze this piece together. Because it wasn't. We're going to flip up the head by grabbing its uh, upper lip. Flip up the head. Okay. we got these, which I'm guessing are the arms. And then we just split the back wheel. And on this hinge here, rotate the wheel flat. Ah, that one's fallen out. See, you might be able to see, I've already put super glue around this one. It just, um, uh, the super glue's just come straight off. Super. Uh, I'm going to plug that in there. And that's the robot mode. No, really, that's it. That's That's the robot mode. Oh, excuse me, you can take that in for a second while I worry about my nose. Oh, yeah. Oh. Anyway. Yeah, uh, it's got these little stubby R uh, legs, which uh, these hinges are really, really loose. I think I've literally just tried tightening one of these. It must be this one with super glue. I have to do that one. Like I say, if I spent some time tightening all the ball joints and the hinges and stuff like that, they'd hold together better, but is it worth it when that's the result? I mean, like, where are the hands? 
Come on. Like, where are the hands? They haven't got any. Okay, well, oh, why are they always permanently looking up? Because this piece is slightly too long. Do I need to trim that piece so we can look forward properly? Is it worth it? I mean, I, these are freebies from Certoys, and I always want to give them a glowing report, but unless you're going to buy these to laugh at them, there's really not much of a selling point. I'm sorry, there's not. Um, like I, I like them because they're weird, wacky little things, and if I was so inclined, I could paint them up properly and have them like, in the backgrounds of dioramas and stuff. You know, I, I like that kind of thing. But at the same time, I, because I haven't got like a spray paint, uh, airbrush, that's the word I was looking for, because I haven't got like an airbrush studio or anything like that, I, it, for me to paint them would be hand paint. And I've already got plans for more stuff to hand paint, so I'm not going to add these to the list. So, you know, it's just... Ugh. Transform that one. Okay. Stammer. These wouldn't stand up before I tightened these joints up, by the way. Not a chance. Um, some of these ball joints still like popping out. Uh, the green one, I think, is the main... For that. Although I think this one likes to jump out. Nope, that one. There you go. I mean, like I say, it's it's not a bad figure. Can I just take this off to show you? I might as well. Like I say, it's just that little peg. Goes into a hole there. Uh, you don't have to turn it around, but if you don't, the point here is even more under his chin, so his head's looking even further back. It's uh, unfortunate, but whatever. Get in there, you. Stay in there. So, yeah, I, I think these are still on sale. I think they're like a dollar, something like that. So if you're on Certoys and need to make up the postage or something, or you feel like just throwing a dollar at it, and you know, maybe you can paint and you can do something good with them, let me know if you do. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not great. Are you going to stand? Yeah, right, okay. They're all standing. Hooray! That's took some effort. It's probably because this is kind of a, a rubbery material and it's not letting the wheels slide. So as comparison, Earthrise Grapple. I don't think this even really deserves it, but there you go. They're just... I don't want to say they're bad. They are. But I don't want to say they're bad, because again, they were freebie. But, yeah... <laughs> Oh, why am I always snotty as soon as I start filming? Like I say, if you think you can do something interesting with these guys, they're cheap, I think they're still in stock at Certoys, go buy them and then, you know, let me know. Let me know and I'll acknowledge that you're better at painting than me, which, let's face it, I can do now. But it's fine. They're weird. They're genuinely weird. I mean, these faces, the head sculpt itself, I mean, if you stole the heads, these are quite well sculpted. If you stole these for, you know, another project, you want some, you know, some wheels and hinges and stuff, great, get these. Like I say, even if they're just spare parts for other projects, I mean, these, sure. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. You use these as spare parts. They're cheap. Get them as spare parts for something, you know, use them to make more customs. Works for me. Anyway, I'm going to call it there. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye!